Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing a complete brake job on a 2010 Chevrolet 2500 HD. Um, I, I realized that I've never done a brake video, so I wanted to bring you guys one and go over the basics. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright guys, so this is the top bolt that holds in the caliper and then there's a bottom bolt down here that also holds in the caliper. Uh, take both of those out and take the caliper completely off because when, whenever you're replacing brake pads, if they're very worn, you're going to have to reset the caliper. So we're going to do that using the C-clamp. You probably you probably saw me do it before whenever we did the uh, Lincoln Aviator video. So yeah guys, we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so you probably notice we're on the other side of the truck now, but uh, we got a little bit ahead of ourselves there, went ahead and took the caliper off, it's no big deal, we'll just do it on this side. Um, because anytime you're replacing brake parts, you always want to do it in pairs, so if you're going to place one side of the brakes, or if you're going to place one set of brake pads, go ahead and do both, that way you're good to go. But uh, now, basically, because these are such big brake pads, or because these are such big calipers and pads and all that, you may have to get a pry bar like this, and pry them open. Pry the caliper off of the rotor. Because trust me, that can be quite a pain to get off. Alright. We got them off. As you can see, now our brake pads will be able to slide out. And it's actually pretty badly worn. So you can see that's about the amount of life you had left. But uh, no, I don't want for a little bit longer, but not much. This side's actually a lot more worn than the other side. It's kind of weird. But as you guys might be able to see, they used some kind of sealer on this. I don't know what that's about, but uh, we're going to have to pull all that off the caliper because it's all gross and gunked up and rusted now. So I think he's already got it done over there as far as the gasket goes. So we're going to go over there now. Alright guys, so whenever you pop on your new pads, or whenever you pull off your old pads, it's going to have old brackets. Like this. Okay, these are the brackets that hold in your brake pads. Well, we, I've already got the new ones in place. They pretty much just snap up in there, like this. Uh, so, they're nothing too bad. Now, this is something that a lot of people are controversial on. And that's whether you should use this Molly brake lube or not. Now, I did not used to use it, but... I, I've seen its purpose, and I've seen why people use it, so we are going to go ahead and use it in on, on in this instance. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit. Oh, you can't see it. Well, right here. We're going to apply a little bit on the contact point where the brake pad meets the top of this bracket. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to make it to where whenever your caliper compresses these pads and they move along this thing, they don't, or they move evenly, so so they don't get stuck and move like that, like er, 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 er. they move nice and smooth because of the grease. It will glide them. So, yeah, or do you have to use it? I mean, I guess if someone tells you that you don't have to use it, do whatever you think is necessary. But I've seen both sides of it, and preferably, uh, I say put some grease on it. Helps help stop squeaking and stuff like that. So it's definitely uh, it's definitely a good idea. Okay guys, so he's currently compressing the caliper. What he's doing right now is he has the old pad set in there and he's using it and a C-clamp to compress it. Now this is a double piston caliper. So you have to compress them both at the same time. If you compress one, the other one will push out. So you have to compress them both at the same time. Alright guys, so as you can see the caliper is already compressed over here. I showed you how to do it on the other side. Basically you put the old brake pad right here and then you have your C-clamp holding the back of this and you just screw it until it doesn't compress anymore. That's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to it. We're going to go ahead and set in the pads and go ahead and put this side back on.
Okay guys, so a quick uh, word of advice is whenever you put new brakes on your car, the caliper is going to have to meet the pad. So, now you remember how we compress the caliper using the C-clamp? Well, your caliper is currently all the way compressed, all right? So, what you're going to do is you're going to get in your vehicle, put your leg on the brake, and sit and pump them up. Until you can feel them to where the brakes feel like they should, then you should be good to go. So, after that, put your wheel back on and you're ready to go down the road. All right, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more. See you guys next time. Bye.